All right. <laughs> I'm going to use that sound effect because that could sound like something else. <laughs> hey, boys. It's arm none. Oh, my fucking God. Continue. No stop on you. <sighs> Today I'm back with my supposed friends, NPC and Twingo. <laughs> For yet another customization battle. If you didn't see last week's customization battle, it was on the Meibatsu Penumbra FF, which was heavily requested by you guys. And in today's customization battle, after we figure out who lost last week's, we're going to be customizing the Ubermacht Sentinel Classic Widebody at Benny's. So it should be a pretty interesting customization battle. Before we get into that, Twingo, I do believe, has the votes. Yeah, we got uh, NPC in first place. Congratulations. 312 votes for him. Second Dumb. place. It's very close between second and third. 10 votes. Second place goes to Harm None. Yes. 233. And then I come in third with 223. <sighs> Let's go. Okay. Well... Sorry, Twingo. I, I liked your car. I liked I it. A, it was pretty cool. I liked it a lot better than NPCs. Yeah. Yep. But that's okay. Um, Continue second place. Anyways, uh, so we're gonna to go ahead and there. watch Twingo sell his Penumbra FF, and then we're gonna get into today's customization battle. All right, time to see this baby go. Goodbye, Lean Amazing. Mobile. <laughs> the Lean Mobile. <laughs> I saw that comment. Whoever said that? That was, that was funny. a good comment. That was very funny. Sad. Oh, one million dollars though. Swag. Mm. Good compensation. Not bad. That's only like losing 500k, I think. Yeah. Oh. Excuse me. Last man standing. Let's go. Hey. No. Oh, you just got swerved on, buddy. Oh, good luck. Damn. You're a piece of shit. Have fun with what that. What you want? You rat. <laughs> Hope you enjoy driving all the way to Benny's on three tires. <laughs> <laughs> all right, boys, here we are inside of Benny's. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade this thing to the wide body version. So let's go ahead and do that for $700,000. That is a lot of money, but uh, it's gonna be worth it because this car looks really sick when it's fully upgraded. I'm gonna go all the way up on the armor and the brakes. Um, obviously we need both of those things. Uh, for the front bumpers on this car, we do have quite a few different options here, which obviously you would expect that at Benny's. Um, some of them, I don't really like the fitment of how they actually like look on the car. I don't mind the attack bumper, but I don't really know what I want to go for with today's build. Um, I would like something that extends it out to the fender line here, ideally. And the only ones that do that are like the drift bumper. Uh, we have the attack bumper and we have, uh, this one does not do it. And we have the street bumper, which is a pretty aggressive uh, lip on the front of this thing. But I wouldn't mind making this thing look a little bit more like a race car. So I think I'm gonna go for the street bumper. It is carbon fiber, which I think is a little weird to have on an older car like this. Um, so maybe I need to look at a different option here, honestly. The attack bumper, as far as I can tell, is not carbon. So maybe I'll go with the attack bumper instead. Um, I just kind of like how the street bumper looks. I feel like it's more clean. So I might go street despite the carbon fiber. I think I'm going to do it anyways. I mean, you could say it's, you know, a bit of a, a resto mod with some additional carbon fiber added to it. We'll have to see what we can do. Um, I do like some of these rear bumper options, though. I have to say they are quite neat looking. Um, I like the drift bumper. Drag bumper is pretty sick as well. I would just like one that's in carbon fiber to match up with the front. Because if we can't get one in carbon, I cannot do it because I don't want to get roasted for not matching it up. Um, the drift bumper is really cool, uh, but as cool as it is, I feel like the racer bumper is like almost a little bit better. Or even the attack bumper, but I do like the diffuser on it though, so I think I'm going to go racer bumper. For that front bumper, we are going to switch it to the attack bumper just because it, it just makes more sense. Or I guess we could do the drift bumper. Um, the drift bumper is a little bit cleaner. Really not sure what to do here, honestly. Uh, I think I'm going to go attack, I think, because it, it keeps the width which I kind of wanted, so we'll go for that. Um, for the engine itself, 
Um, I'm definitely gonna do something to the valve cover. Um, I just don't know what. I actually kind of like it stock. Maybe I won't. For the engine cover itself, though, we will go for some uh, some exposed pulleys because I think those look really cool. And I think because the engine is red, I kind of want to match it up. But at the same time, I kind of want to go for something a little bit different. Maybe we go black on the exposed uh, pulleys. So let's do that. Strut brace, I definitely want something titanium. I think the titanium strut brace itself just looks really good. So let's do that. Uh, we can add the intercooler. I think I'm gonna do that because it cleans up the bumper a little bit. I'm just gonna go for the regular GT intercooler. Uh, for the air filters, we can change these up quite a bit. Um, okay, I can see it on this side of the car a little bit better. Um, honestly, I really like the stock one because it's got that it's got that pipe going in there and then the, uh, the hose right there. I'm gonna keep it leave it alone uh engine all the way up though we will do that for sure for the exhaust we need something a little bit bigger but not too much bigger um just to fill the gap there a little bit better i don't like the box exhausts i think we're gonna have to go titanium or like slash or the chrome slash i like the titanium the best i feel like it looks the best so let's do that um for the fenders we can go second or or we could go carbon not a big fan of either of them so we're gonna leave that alone uh, we can add some additional headlights on the front of this thing which is tempting slightly um i think that i might go ahead and throw that on ah uh, i don't know actually we're gonna come back to that because we can do stuff to the grill so if we can change up the grill a little bit make it look a little bit different uh, maybe a little more aggressive maybe i won't do those lights um, I do like the STD grill. I do think that looks pretty cool. I actually really like the split grill. It reminds me of a Lancia a lot, actually, which is kind of neat. I just don't know if I like how like low it brings the um, like the fascia here. I guess it's I guess it's the same either way. It's just extended. I don't know. Hmm. I do really like the look of that though. Oh man, do I go for that? Like I, I feel like I can't. I really feel like I can't. Maybe we go STD grill just to clean it up, make it like, you know, nice looking. And then the headlights fit on either side of it really well. So we could do that. Um, I don't know about the headlights. I might leave that alone for right now. Uh, for the hood catches, I'm not going to put any on uh, despite the race build because it makes it so you can't lift your hood and that is going to be... Uh, something that's going to be crucial for this uh, for this challenge, I think. So I'm not going to put hood pins on at all. Uh, for the hood itself, though, we've got to be able to find something in here that looks good. Um, I do like the scoop hood. That is a cool look for the car. Uh, the STD hood does also look really neat. Uh, the cutout hood, I'm not a super big fan of those. I don't think that they're very nice looking. The XS hood, it does work. It does add a little bit of detail to the hood. I'm just not 100% happy with it. I think I'm gonna have to go for the scoop. So let's do that. Um, for the interior, the dash in here, I definitely want to do something with it, but I'm not gonna go carbon. Maybe we go for the semi-stripped interior uh, or the adapt interior. Hmm. Let's do that. And then for the doors, I'm gonna leave them alone, I think. I don't really wanna change it up too much. For the seats though, um, can I see these from outside? I do like the stock seats and they do match up with the back seats. So I do kind of like that, but at the same time, if, it, if this was like a track car, like I'm sort of going for like somebody bought a BMW, you know, an, an E30 and, you know, somebody bought an E36 and they were like kind of modding it to take it to the track, you know, on weekends or something like that. Um, so I don't want to go too crazy with it, I, but I don't, I don't want to like do nothing to it as well. Um, let's go for the, oh man, I don't know what to do here. Ballistic fiber bucket seats or the painted track seats. Um, let's go for the ballistic fiber track seats. Let's do that. Uh, for the wheel, I think I am going to change it to a rally clubman or maybe, maybe a formula professional, except it's got paddle shifters that doesn't really fit. Maybe I'll keep it stock. Actually. I think I am going to keep it stock, uh, for the dash gauges, I think I think I'm gonna have to do something pretty bright like ice white to be able to actually see them and then for the cage I think I'm gonna do a half cage because I think that is gonna look pretty cool so let's do that uh, for the lights we are gonna go xenon today I think um, neon kit I don't think I want to go for one I think I'm gonna leave it off the car today so we'll leave that alone um, for the livery itself we got the black speed stripes the white speed stripes as well 
We also have the black arrow stripes or the white arrow stripes. Uh, we got the black racer stripes too, which is pretty cool. Uh, we got those in white as well. The pisswasser stripes are also there. The redwood, um, the pole position. We have the cabal manufacturing, ragarum. We have the zero stripes, which I think this is one of the coolest liveries in the entire game, I won't lie. Uh, we got the debonair, we got the douche gold, and that is about it. Um, I think I really like the black speed stripes. I think that is such a unique sort of livery for this car. I also kind of like the black racer stripes though too. Um, but at the same time, something about the piss washer stripes is kind of kind of tempting to me. Um, this one, I feel like one of the other two is going to go for it. I've already done that build, so I don't think I want to go for that again. I might just go for the black speed stripes today. I think that's what I'm going to do. If we change the color, I might have to change that up. Um, I'm going to go for the SA exempt plate and for the louvers, we can do some on this car. Now, I feel like they do actually fit really well on this car, but the question is, do I actually want to do them? And I don't think that I do. As clean as they kind of look, I don't think that it really fits with the build that I'm going for in particular. Um, now, as far as the color goes, what if we did this in a brushed like black steel, like a, like a darker sort of color? Um, and then, oh, maybe we could go for a, a white livery on it then if we did that. That might be kind of cool. Let's do brushed black steel for the primary. And then for the secondary color, this is in black. So what if we change that to a white and then matched the ice white up um, with that white speed stripe livery or a different white livery? Oh, that is actually super clean. I actually kind of like the white arrow stripes a lot. Let's do that. That looks sick, actually. Okay, hang on. For the roof, we can do an aerial. We can also do some roof fins. Uh, we can do those in a bunch of different colors. We've also got uh, the wind deflector and the roof bars, which is kind of a cool option. Uh, we got the lights that we can put up there, too. Unfortunately, I don't think there's anything I want to do to the roof of this car today. Um, for the skirts on this, though, we will go for something. I just don't know what exactly yet. Um, maybe the racer skirts. Those are kind of nice. I kind of like those. Um, could also maybe go for the drift skirts. Don't mind the drift skirts. I think I like the drift skirts a little better, actually. So maybe we do that. Let's go drift skirts, I guess. Sunstrip, we could add one on. I'm not a really big fan of it though, so I think I'm gonna leave it off. For the spoiler, we could go secondary on it. Uh, we could also go for several different options. Um, there's a lot of good looking spoilers for this vehicle, if I do remember correctly. And uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot to choose from. The GT spoiler is really neat looking, in my opinion. It does have a bit of carbon on it though, if I'm not mistaken, or is that carbon? Maybe it's not. I can't really tell if it's carbon or not. I, it might be carbon actually, I think it is. Um, I also have the racer spoiler which is really neat and the attack spoiler. The attack spoiler is super sick looking. <sighs> attack spoiler, oh man. I might have to go for the racer spoiler though. I feel like it is super sick looking but at the same time the attack spoiler, there's something about that that's so sick, it's so unique, it's just so different. Oh man, but there's a bit of carbon on there. Oh man, do I go for the racer spoiler though with the white on it to add a little more white to the car like maybe okay wait let's do the racer spoiler for a minute for the suspension i am going to lower it down all the way as much as possible transmission let's go up on that turbo up on that as well for the wheels this car does have pretty low profile oh the tropos hang on now stop playing oh my god hang on Okay, we got those in black. What about in a white? Is the secondary color white? Is it? Is it like? Is it different? Hang on. Let's do the bulletproof tires. Um, tire design. White atomic. That's pretty sick. Or white Fukaru. That's pretty sick. I kind of like that a lot. Okay, let's. Oh, I'm so tempted to put that on, but I'm not sure yet. Um, I want to tint the windows all the way out so you can kind of hide the white roll cage because it does not really look that great but the attack bumper no that's not happening okay uh what about the rear bumper what if we did it in a different no okay um okay wait wait, 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 wait. okay where's the where's the respray because i feel like that's secondary color i feel like it's oh it's not i thought it was more of a frost white but it's not 
Okay. Huh. I don't know that I'm 100% happy with this. I don't know if the I don't know if the primary color is like working for me. I really don't. I feel like it might be better in like a brighter color. So the white isn't so like like um it's not so like different, I guess, is what I'm like looking for. Like the white, oh, the white on white is kind of clean, I'm not going to lie. What about oh Oh, the bleached brown? Why does that, like, why does that work so well? I feel like this car could get away with a brown, honestly. Oh, man. Oh, wait a minute. Mariner blue, surf blue. Surf blue is clean as shit. Oh, my God. What about gasoline green? No. Yellow and the what? Eh, no, not really. Red and white could be kind of cool, but it's kind of really, I don't know. It could work. Definitely could work. Oh man, I don't know what the hell to do. I'm honestly so tempted to go bleached brown. I really like how that looks. I think that's so sick looking. Boys, I'm gonna do it and you might hate me for it, but uh, I think it looks so damn good. Um, okay, wait a sec, what about, what about that roll cage though? Cause if that's gonna be white, I don't think I can do it, honestly. I don't think it's gonna happen. And then what if for the wheels, what if we went, a different color because so i just feel like i feel like it's i don't know the white like works though it just works oh man what if i did the wheels in like a copper or something i'm sure you guys are probably screaming at the screen right now please don't do it it looks so good i might leave it in white i might leave it in white i'm not gonna lie okay well if i do that i don't need to tint the windows so much i could probably go for like a lighter smoke on them like a actual light smoke that's not bad oh man i hope you guys like this build i don't know i'm pretty happy with it like i feel like it actually looks pretty good let's take it let's take it outside just for a sec oh man i don't know i feel like this is clean as hell it's like a little bit different it's not something that i would like usually go for you know what i mean it's 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 a little out there some of you guys in the comments have been telling me to play around with the wheel colors. I don't know, hopefully this doesn't look too awful to you guys, but I am actually pretty happy with how this turned out. I think it's a little different. Oh, and there's Twingo. Wow, would you look at that? Oh, wow. Shalom. Hello, sir. Howdy. Cool Howdy. car. Is Thank that you. cream? It is bleached brown. Ooh. I was debating a cream for myself a little bit there. I feel like it's such a like older looking car that you can really get away with some like weird colors. Like I felt like yeah, all like the brown, old car colors. Yeah, like the browns like all looked like pretty good. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I feel like the yellow almost looks better. I'm gonna go for the yellow. F it. Wait, hang on. What? I just thought of something that might uh -oh. look really good. Until NPC comes out, it's not over. That's my rule. Correct. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, 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 yes, yes. What was it? I'm much oh. happier. I'm much happier. That I'm looks really good. I'm a much happier boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, <sighs> I totally forgot that there was the black option of the white as well, so... I had to change mm -hmm. that. Oh my god, I didn't even check the liveries. That's what the big thing I missed. Yeah. Hold on a minute. Ah, yes. I'm gonna put go. on your livery. You bastard. We'll have the same car. <laughs> Just red. Might as well switch up another thing. I mean, while we wait for NPC for 10 Good years. Good god. Yeah. It's his own fault. He, he has inadvertently made our builds better. Honestly, yeah. If he sped it up a little bit, we might not have no, we, had as much as a chance. I don't think I don't think we would have fixed our, our issues. Oh. Oh man, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh man. Okay. Uh, what was I coming in to fix? Oh my 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 seats. Yeah, that's better. Holy shit. I'm so excited. I oh, know. there it is. Wow. Cool. There it is, indeed. Indeed. Interesting. I think we all have such interesting builds. I'm not gonna lie. I thought before we went in, I was like, "This car is so ugly." And now that we've all come out, this, you can make this car look really good. I always thought it was nice. Before we went in, I was like, "This car is so ugly." And now that we've all come out. This, you can make this car look really good. How dare you say that? How dare you say that about the BMW E36? 
Honestly, <laughs> you scumbag. I've never You're been gonna a fan, lose this to be one. Honest. You're gonna lose yep. this one just because of that. You deserve make it. Sure that you, okay. Make sure to include you saying that. And you just did you, sorry, did you just double down? Did you just say you've never been a fan on record? Yes. You so you just tripled down. Yes. Quad. Okay. Yes. Observatory time. Five <laughs> Observatory times. time. Nice. This car. Oh my god! Is, the back end is yeah. is horrid. Drift missile. It is a drift missile. All right. All right. Let's start. Yes, start with Twinge. Twingo. All right. Twingo the Twinge. Twinge Mobile. We got a very nice Grace Red. No extra pearlescent on it or anything. Just plain old Grace Red. Very such a nice red. I gotta say, Grace it, Red always Grace pulls red through for awesome. so many cars. It really is. Mm -hmm. And then I think this is the pull position livery with a little bit of gold in there. I think it looks super nice, especially on the red. Also goes with the yellow headlight tint I have. And we did a carbon hood up front with the big scoop up there. And um, yeah. A and lot then the of bumper. <laughs> yeah, there's, there, I'm just trying to think of what to do next. The grill is the, I don't remember the name of it, but the it kind of looks like the Lancia thing. The, the Lancia. The Lancia. Grill. Lancia S4. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of also reminds me of the kidney grills that BMW does. So kind of had to do that. And I'm not sure if that also, that's separate from the bumper. I don't remember the bumper, but I thought that one was the coolest. Definitely is. The spoiler, I think, is a mid-level one. I like the stock one the most, but I definitely wanted the traction bonus, so did that. The rear bumper, I think, is the drift one, because I like how the diffuser kind of looks at the bottom there. And then we did some square angled exhaust, maybe. I think it fills up box. the space really nice. Yeah, the box oh, ones. Oh, yeah. They look super clean there. And stock wheels, because I really like the style of these. I tried to find one in Benny's. Benny's originals are not really my thing. Benny's or, originals are like the, ugly. The painted ones, yeah. But I these tried. look very yeah. nice. Very nice. I like nice. them. Nice. I, I actually agree with you on the stock wheels. Yeah. I think they do look really nice. The rare opportunity to use stock wheels, and I like to use that option. And and I feel yeah. like the color on them works too. Like it works well with your car. Like it, it's normally it would be like really hideous, I feel like, but yeah. it like actually works pretty good. I wish there was a chrome option too. Yeah. Like a full chrome, not something shiny instead of an alloy paint. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know what you mean. I agree. I think actually there's something super similar to this in the, uh, the, track options there's two that's there. like all chrome there's, no oh okay yeah, it's track two. options where it's a low oh. profile and they look like this but we i don't think we have it unlocked oh yeah there's yeah, a lot there of track is, ones yeah. i really want to get yeah i also yeah. like the stock ones because they're a little bit wider at the bottom too mm -hmm. a little mm -hmm. a little more sharp or angle i like yeah. how uh dished they are like how mm -hmm. it's a low profile tire but the actual like rim design is is still pretty small i think it fits the car yeah. oh yeah kind of compact yes. um and then last thing i wanted to say about your car was i like that you match the seat belts with your primary color oh yeah had to go with that this the seats look pretty comfortable too and i wasn't a fan of the pattern of the stock ones mm -hmm. but those are pretty sick and before we move on let's see that engine bay Ooh, okay. oh yeah that's something we beautiful get beautiful engine bay uh hood oh boom oh it opens that way it sure does. It's I did put some uh, a new filter on, but the red looks nice with it. I didn't. It's too expensive to change the fucking valve cover for fifty grand. My god. Yeah. But I did the intake stuff, and that looks cool. I like it. Like a mesh I didn't thing. Know, I didn't know you could put blue Yetis in an engine. Yeah. Extra good exhaust sound. Please yes. sponsor me. <laughs> yes. Like the video while you're here. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Awesome. Nice. nice. Nice engine, babe, brother. Thank you. Yeah, cool. man. Cool. Okay, well, let's hear about NPC's car. All right. I went for... Uh, I stuck with a white primary, but it's frost white to uh, make it a little bit dimmer. And then I pretty much carboned a lot of stuff. I carboned the hood. I carboned the fenders, the skirts. Uh, the spoiler, I made just the secondary color in metallic black because the, the carbon version doesn't have the green stripes over it. And I wanted that mm -hmm. um, and then i went for the attack bumper on the front end i believe this is uh, i thought it was it's cool because of how aggressive it is and i'm just a big fan of the indent in these like splitters 
Um, and then for the grill, I went with the, oh God, I have no clue what it's called to be honest, but I think it makes it like, I think the reason I'm not a fan of the, the E30 in real life is just cause I think this looks too pig-like for me, the gaping nostrils. So this one kind of just removed all of that. And I think makes it look like a superhero. Um, and then I went with the douche gold livery, which adds all of this green on top. And I, I thought it looked super cool. And then, uh, for the interior, I matched the carbon seats and the green stripes with the rest of the car. Uh, rear bumper, I think this is the street bumper in carbon. I've got box exhaust and then I have a uh, black S racers or carbon black S racers. Some vortexes on the roof. Ah, nice. and the vortexes, of yes. course. Can't forget the vortexes. Decent. Mm -hmm. I got one question for you. Yeah. Can you pop the hood? Yes. Wicked. Awesome, man. Looking forward to seeing this. Ah, uh, this one. Doors. Boom. Oh, carbon. Carbon Ooh. everywhere. Carbon Carbon the world. everywhere. And then what yep. color are your, your... Can't tell what color those are. What color are those? Wh Spinners what? on the front. Uh, the, oh, 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 oh. I almost punched Kai in the Oh, the head. pulley thing? The pulley, yeah. The pulley's also black. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm. Yeah. Decent. Thanks. Nice. Okay. Interesting. Cool. All right. Well, my turn. I'm not. It's nice. bleached brown with a black secondary because I liked how the black looked uh, on the top of the front bumper there, and then on the uh, the mid part of the car there, and then on the uh, on the rear bumper, and then uh, it also does the secondary part of this wing, which is why I chose that wing. Um, I also matched it up with that livery, the black one that makes it, it's a BMW classic. I th I'm pretty sure they did that on, I want to say, I can't exactly remember the car's name, but I want to say it had the, it had 2000 in it. I'm not really sure. It was a BMW race car that was very famous. I don't, I don't remember the name of it right off the top of my head. Um, I went with yellow headlights uh for it because it is an older car and i felt like uh, they actually look really mm. good um, i actually went in and changed them after i saw uh, twingo had them on his car because i thought it looked really yep. sick planted uh, the seed yeah um i also went for the black uh like hood uh, vents there because i wanted some more black on the car went with whatever bumper that is because it was the only one that wasn't uh carbon and it was still like really aggressive looking that still looked good uh, to match up with the rear diffuser which you could not get a carbon option in unless you went for the whole carbon rear bumper which i did not want to do and then i went for the uh i don't know which side skirt this is but one of them and uh for the interior i went with the carbon buckets i was trying to avoid carbon fiber on this car because i don't think carbon fiber existed when this car came out um, or at least it was probably in the very early stages of uh development i would assume um, I went for like a slightly racified interior, uh, but not too aggressive. Um, I'll, I'll open up all the doors uh, for you guys so that, uh, so that you can see uh, if I could find where that is. It's right, it's right there. Do that for sure. Um, Holy moly. Yeah, I got some racing oh. stuff in there. I don't mind Nos that. in the back. Sure. Just a little bit. Just a bit of racing equipment. Um, yeah, I went fire extinguisher, black interior, uh, and then for the engine, I went with the I went with the red, um, with the titanium strut brace and the black pulleys uh, because I felt like that looked pretty good. Uh, the reason I kept the red um, on the engine is because it matches up with the brake calipers, and the brake calipers also match up with my seat belts. So that's why I uh, decided to decided to go with that. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> you look straight into my eyes. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, cool looking wow. car. Yeah. Cool. So that's my yeah. belt. I gotta nice. say, it kind of reminds me of the new Hyundai electric car, like the N74, can, yeah, the can, Vision or yeah, something. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Actually. Tiny bit. Yeah. I think in a very it's cool the, way. It's the headlights, I think, and the big spoiler. Must be, yeah. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Wow. Well, okay. It it's, is, uh, it is it's roasting, roasting time. Yeah, it is roasting time. Oh, and I went with black tropos. Yeah. Yes, I see that. Yep. So yeah. Yep. Um, Harmon, I just want to start off by saying I I think the spoiler looks good with like the how aggressive the front bumper and splitter is, but it's I, that back piece just kills me. Like I like the, the height, <laughs> but that back piece is so like yeah. 
What uh, the f It looks so good without it. It kind of reminds me of like those visor hats people wear. I actually, I actually really like it. I, th I think that it, it, I think that it fits nicely because it matches up with the rear bumper. Like it does fit. Nice. It does fit. Yeah. Nicely, I, I'm gonna have to disagree with you on okay. nicely, but it does fit with the build. It's, it's okay. I think it fits like much small, better without it. Yeah. Uh, or, or if the, I, like I, the I actually like the black edition. I just think the black piece is is so massive. Like if there was just maybe like a black trimming on the spoiler. On the back side of it like this mm -hmm. just oh yeah i don't know like paint it on or something instead of having a giant ass piece on the back then it would look cooler but for sure overall your car looks pretty cool thank you i um, do have one small thing to point out and mm -hmm. i'm not even sure if it's a thing to point out but does i well, i don't think it does but at first it looked like the skirt cut off the livery but i think it just kind of ends there it does not yeah it, it just okay ends yeah there. it ends before it goes up that's good then. All is well with me. Maybe besides the wheels, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of the Tropos ones on this. I think it kind of deserves a bit more than five big spokes. I definitely prefer the multiple thinner spokes for this kind of style of car. Yeah, but that is also that just one. me. I, I could, I could. No, see I agree with you. On I, that. I liked these wheels because I felt like they were like era, sort of like compliant. I guess like they were kind of older car sort of thing. And also, the car is supposed to be a race car, which I felt like my build in particular was supposed to be more like race car-y. Um, and I felt like the five-spoke wheels were more race car-y because they're easier access to like the brakes and stuff like that. And the wheels are probably going to be lighter because they have less spokes. So that was my True. thinking behind that. Um, and I also just think they look really good. I like the Tropos rims a lot, and I felt like they fit on this car. Uh, so that's valid. why I chose them. They, they look better than I would have imagined they would look like i just skipped over these rims like it was nothing but mm. not not bad not bad there's for sure worst picks nice for sure they're for sure our worst picks you're absolutely right yeah there definitely is like s racers <laughs> s racers do not look bad we just talked about how the thinner lot of spokes look good um if this car came out in like 2005 or newer, yes, uh, I I disagree. I um, yeah, this is not what I meant when I was describing that. I was definitely why? talking more about like my kind of style of wheels. Mm -hmm. But but why? I don't know why. They're exactly. a very modern looking wheel. Wheels. They're a very modern looking wheel on an otherwise very not modern looking car. I think that's but it. I, I modernized the, the car. <laughs> Uh, that, that's I don't the whole think point. you did. What did you build this? I, what? Look, I, I, I took away the I, E30 like signature pig I, nostrils. Um, it I, looks like a derby car. A little bit. I like you went. Supposed to just be like a street dog. You went pretty easy on me, NPC, and I hate to do this to you uh, because you were you were pretty kind to my car. I. Th I think this might be the worst looking Sentinel Classic wide body I've ever seen. <laughs> no way. No way. It looks like a superhero. Uh, dude, I don't. He's got like the superhero I, like, mask on with the. Yeah, the that's, band part in the of, that's part of why it looks not good, I think. I think um, it looks so cool. The livery is all over the place. The it looks livery, like broken the, tape the, everywhere. I, I think your car would look a lot better without the livery on it, but with that being said, the amount of carbon fiber on this car, I. I substantial i cannot i cannot because the thing is the thing is is if, if it was a modern car and you put this much carbon on it i'd be like okay cool but the problem is this car is what 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 year did the e36 come out like 86 is it the 36 no or 30 I, it's it's the 36 i do believe i i don't I oh don't it know. might not be actually I don't think it, it might is. be even older it might be i the think e30. it's the e30 i think it's from the 70s then 82 to 94 okay yeah yeah um so like i i understand like you were ki i'm assuming kind of going race car build a little bit like with all the carbon that you put on it for the for the weight removal i honestly don't know what this car was supposed to be i just know i i, I know it's like a drift car that's all i know the e30 is so i went for like a like i think like people from the jdm community they take old cars and mod the fuck out of them all the time and so that's just kind of what I did with this one. Yeah, the, the, yeah, from the JDM community. This car is German. It doesn't mean you can't like JDM cars. Well, you can't like slap that style on and I have hope, it look good. I hope the viewers' eyes are working this episode. <laughs> um, for sure. Um, it's an unorthodox approach. I will. Admit. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a good way of putting it. It's unorthodox. 
That's for I sure. think it looks yeah. cool though. Um, I think it looks cool. I think there's a lot. You can carbon all of these options for a reason. I don't think. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, you can. Yeah, you can. You just definitely because can. you can doesn't mean you should. Yeah, I think. I think the. I think if I had to pick the worst thing you've done to the car, it's a tie between the livery and the grill. I don't. I don't like the grill that much. I like. I think it looks cool. I, I, it's, you're blocking it so like much you, airflow. Yeah, you, you, you you're that. getting like like ten percent of your otherwise airflow. I just get. do not like this on the front. I just think it looks. It looks. It just looks like a pig. Cool looking. You this have something what, against has, pigs. Yeah, you do. You hate pigs. Me. I don't know. I like to eat. Rope. They provide one a lot one. of benefits. <laughs> Damn. Pigs are dirty. There's a yeah. reason why so many so religious people don't eat pork. Yeah, but I don't know. How could you give up bacon like that? Yeah. Well, or whatever. Chops. Whatever you want to oh. do. But I really like Twingo's build. I'm not gonna lie. I, I literally do not have a single bone to pick with it. Oh, that makes me happy. I, I feel like. I think it's so clean. The Hit rims, me with it. I like it, but I I don't know. I think the color's out of place. I think it looks really nice. Silver and gold are kind of a thing, and this car looks amazing in red. And but it's, it's got, you've got like, like a, a nice red, pearl black. to it. It's got a nice pearl to it, though. Mm -hmm. You've got this like red, black, and yellow, and then the silver is just so it's so bright. Yeah, but it's like the shoes. Else. You got to have like nice shoes on you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you don't wear mismatching shoes. No, you don't. They're all the same kind of wheel. So it makes sense. But like, come on, black outfit with chrome shoes. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I think that could be kind of stylish. No. Oh man. Chrome I just shoes. keep I keep looking <laughs> over at NPC's car and it's like I I just I just smile. <laughs> Uh, it, you know what it looks like actually from the front? It it looks like a Ford Escort with that grill. Ooh. It looks like a Ford Escort, like a lot. It looks like the Vapid Retinue with that front grill. Hang on, hang on. I need to look up these cars because I don't know what it is. Ford Escort. Like an older one. Look up the Hoonigan Escort. Like a, Cosworth. I don't know. There's something about it. Yeah, I can see it. A little bit. It's kind of got a It's, it's like the... Yeah. It's, yeah. It's right there in the front sort of section. Yeah. Little. Yeah. I don't think I don't know. I don't think it's a big row. He's saying it's, no, it looks like no. the Hootie and Ford Escort. I think it looks cool. Oh, I, no, it's a cool looking car. It's a, yeah, the Escort's but a cool looking car. But yours looks very different to it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Um for sure, yeah. Yeah. I saying. think it looks cool. I mean, at this point, there's not much I can do about it. Even if you're absolutely right, there's not much you can <laughs> do. Completely. Uh, the yeah. viewers can do something about it, though. Make sure you guys vote in the comments down below. If you do like all three cars, uh, you can vote for all three people. Uh, if you like one car better than the rest, you can vote for that instead of the other two. You guys know what to do. Vote in the comments down below. There will be a pinned comment on this video. However, if there is not, whoever makes a comment that has Vote here, Harm None NPC Twingo, as three separate comments that you can like individually. I will pin your comment and take it as a shout out, I guess, if my comment is not there. However, if mine is, make sure you vote on that one. Um, anyway, guys, go and subscribe to NPC and Twingo. Thank you so much for watching this customization battle, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Peace.